to say something, but he didn't because five seconds later, Ghost walks in the fucking door. Yeah, my door is unlocked because he was getting ready to leave, so why the fuck am I gonna lock my door? What it is, ho? What's up? So? Can a nigga get in them goods? Cut you up like you ain't been cooked. Show your ass how to really catch a oh, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Give me your number. I'm Angelique and you watch Miss Angelique TV where we talk about everything and when I mean everything I mean like are you still a bed number one number two he caught you with who like girl yeah let me tell you so this story time is gonna be about the time my boyfriend at the time caught me with my baby diddy and my baby daddy ended up stealing my bed let's get right into it and if you haven't done so already please remember to comment and subscribe so we're gonna give my baby father a name I'm not gonna say his real name but we're gonna give him a name so his name is gonna be Freddy, okay? My boyfriend, at the time, his name gonna be Ghost. At this particular time, me and Freddy, we haven't, we wasn't together for probably like two months or so. Cause if y'all remember, if you've been following me for a little minute, um, that vlog when, my, my birthday vlog, and he broke up with me or whatever, like two days to three days before my birthday, yeah, that, well, like two months later, this is gonna be, I'm gonna say September, um, I ended up meeting somebody else. He came to my house one time, and he ended up leaving something. He texted me that day, and he was like, I'm gonna pick it up later. I'm like, okay, cool. So, Freddie texts me, and he tells me that my son needs some wipes. So, he was gonna, you know, stop by and get some wipes. But I didn't have the wipes. I had the money for the wipes. So, I told him, okay, well, if you want these wipes, then you're gonna have to bring me to go get these wipes. And also, at the time, I was hungry as fuck. I was like, can you go bring me to get some food? And he was like, yeah. So, I was like, okay, cool. I knew that Ghost was supposed to, like, come through to get what he left at my house. But I'm thinking he's gonna let me know, you know what I'm saying? Ghost was the type of nigga that he wanted to like pop up, do pop ups and FaceTime you like out of nowhere, like all that type of stuff. Freddie, he takes me to go get some wipes and he took me to Whataburger because I wanted some Whataburger. And we get back to the house and I had some, uh, I think I bought some juices or something. I bought something else extra from the store that I couldn't carry every single thing with me like at the same time just with myself freddie he ends up helping me so he walks into my apartment like y'all know the little area by the door like you got a little square like a little towel or like he didn't even leave that area he was just right there and um i got the stuff and he was getting ready to leave but i kind of felt like he wanted to say something because like i said we had just broken up uh, at that time and around this time he was still kind of trying to like be with me still and like kind of plead his case to me because you know y'all know what he did he he's a cheating ass nigga or whatever and so we wasn't together so um he was still i felt like he wanted to say something but he didn't because five seconds later ghost walks in the fucking door mind y'all my door is unlocked because he was getting ready to leave so why the fuck am i gonna lock my door sometimes whenever ghosts would come by by the house i would probably be like in the shower or doing something else i would like leave the door unlocked when i know he's getting ready to come and so he would just walk in and this time my door is unlocked and he walked in just like any other time so ghost walks in and y'all i could have i could have cheated on myself because I'm like, bitch, he, first of all, you not even supposed to be in the same house as your baby daddy. Like, he, your, your boyfriend don't even know about this. Like, what the fuck are you doing? So, I immediately, I'm just like, hey, guys, um, Freddy, this is Ghost. Ghost is Freddy, you know, this is my, my son's father. You know, remember I was talking about him to you before, one time. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, you know, and they kind of like, I think they, that, yeah, they shook hands or whatever briefly. And... That was it. So after I introduced them to each other, I immediately started explaining myself to Ghost. I was like, my son needed some wipes and he, you know, brought me to go get him some wipes and I was hungry too. So he drove me to get some food too. And that's why he here. So I was kind of like trying to explain myself real quick before he, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck he was going to do. I just really, you know, wanted to let him know what the fuck was going on. Cause it looked really, really bad, honestly. Freddie, he ends up leaving. And he was like, well, can I talk to you real quick? And I'm like, okay. I step outside and um, we're talking and he was like, are you sure you want to do this? Meaning, am I sure that I don't want to be with him and that I want to be with somebody else? I'm like, nah, I'm sure. I don't want to be with you. I can't be with you no more. I can't see myself with you no more. Like th that. I need to give you a backstory. Freddie, he gave me his bed. He let me have his bed whenever he moved out. Whenever we moved together, um, he had a bed of his own. I didn't have a bed. He had a bed. Whenever he left, he told me that I could keep the bed because 
you know, I had his son and he didn't want, you know, us to be on the floor or anything like that. Um, or have to get an air, air mattress. And so he felt like, you know, since he didn't need it because he was at his mom's house at the time whenever he um, moved out. He had someone to sleep over there, so why not let me keep it? So I was like, okay, cool. Let's go back to the story. After I tell him, you know, I don't want to be with you, stuff like that, he leaves. I go back in the house with ghosts. And I feel it was really, really awkward and silent because what happened and I was really like embarrassed and I was like fuck I hope he don't think I'm just some cheating ass bitch that keep going back to her baby daddy like I hope he don't think I'm that type of bitch 20 minutes later I get a knock at the door and I don't know who I'm not expecting nobody to come to my house I go to the door well I look in the peephole and it's Freddy and I'm like what the fuck is he doing here like what the fuck as soon as I open the door he goes you got me fucked up I'm about to take my motherfucking bed let me uh come get my baby cause you not about to be fucking no niggas in my bed what the fuck talking about like you first of all you let me have this bed like you've been knowing that i had another nigga but now that you see me with another nigga you talking about getting my motherfucking bed i didn't even try to argue with him at this point because like i said he wasn't even supposed to be there and ghost was still there in the midst of all of this i was so embarrassed i didn't know what the fuck ghost was gonna do freddie had a fucking screwdriver and some some other tool in his hand to break the bed down so i just let him in the house and he goes in the room Start breaking the bed down. So before Freddie comes to the house to get his bed, he was like, "Can I talk to you, Ghost?" And I'm like, I'm looking like, "Why the fuck do you want to talk to him?" So Ghost like, "Okay, cool. What's up? I'll talk to you." I'm in the house. They outside. I'm really trying to figure out what they talking about, but I couldn't really hear him. After they had this conversation, um, Ghost was getting ready to leave, and I was like, "Where you going?" And running behind him, I didn't find out what this conversation was about until like months later. And basically, Freddie told him. Don't be raising my son. Like, I got him. I don't want no other nigga trying to raise my son. And so he told, he told me that Ghost just had his head down the entire time, like, looking scared as fuck. And he was like, okay. Ghost, I see him going to the car. He didn't tell me fucking bye or nothing. I'm like, nigga, where the fuck is you going? I got a grown ass man in my house right now trying to take my bed. And you about to leave me. And so he's like, well, I got somewhere to be and stuff. And, you know, I could take you to go get an air mattress if you need it. I'm like, nah, I'm good. I don't need no air mattress, but I do want you here because I am like, I feel, I'm kind of scared. And he was like, why? He used to keep beat you with something? I'm like, no, he never beat me, but my nigga, you, you are my boyfriend, right? So why the fuck you not trying to stay with me until this man gets his bed out my motherfucking house? That was a red flag right there. I should have been stopped fucking with him because like, how the fuck you just gonna leave me? That's fucked up. So about 10 minutes later, Freddie has the bed, the headboard, the mattress, all of that outside in the grass in front of my apartment. The fucking headboard is all fucking tore up because he literally like broke the bitch apart. After Freddie leaves, I find his bed in the fucking dumpster in the apartment complex. Like I'm thinking he gonna take the bed for himself cause the bed was like a $2,000 bed I think. Like it was a really, really one of those good, good beds. And the fucking bed was in the dumpster. I didn't give a fuck, I'm like whatever. At least he has nothing else, you know, to put over my head. Cause he really, he had me fucked up that day. And like, bitch, you can't be fucking on niggas. And the crazy part about it is, I wasn't even with Ghost in the bed. Ghost hadn't even been in the bed before. Like, he didn't even go in the room besides if he needed to go to the bathroom because, like, my bathroom was connected to my bedroom or whatever. But it's like, he wasn't even in the bed and he was doing all of that. Wait, 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 wait. After that was all said and done with, I got an air mattress. I was so, so surprised that he did that. That's the story when my boyfriend at the time, and I'm gonna keep saying at the time because he ain't my nigga no more. The time that former boyfriend caught me with my baby daddy. Let y'all know me and my son's father, we're good. Like, he don't, he not tripping us. So don't be in my comments talking shit. Like, everything is good now. Um, everything, everybody go through stuff, you know. We over that. Yeah, I was on the air mattress for a, a good minute until I finally got a bed. Moral of the story is, be sure you know who the fuck comes to your house. Y'all don't want to get caught up. I felt like I was getting caught up even though I wasn't doing nothing, but I couldn't be a cheater because that was the worst feeling ever. I couldn't be a cheater, y'all. I'm sorry. If you like this story time, make sure you thumbs up this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And feel free to put any video suggestions in the comments because I'm going to be doing story times all month. Like I told y'all, all the month of October, two to three times a week. It's gonna be a motherfucking story time. I miss story times, and I know y'all miss my story times too. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm gonna see y'all in my next story time.
Um, honestly, I kind of had reasons to think that he was like not being faithful to me at the time, but I didn't really. I was young, y'all. I just wanted a man. My man was old. Well, he was older than me at the time. He had a, his, he had his own shit. Like I wasn't worried about none of that. Like I'm just gonna lie to y'all. I was worried.